Hello and welcome to Real Biz. I'm Rebecca Jarvis here in New York City and today your first look at our new series behind your favorite brands. Fashion designer Rebecca Minkoff is living her dream. Her luxury handbags and edgy clothes are worn by celebrities and women everywhere. But it didn't begin that way. A decade ago, Rebecca was struggling, out of money, even begging her family for help. When along came her fairy godmother, or as it turned out, brother, who bet his entire life savings to save the biz. The result? A smashing success. Now Rebecca and her brother Uri are at the cutting edge, transforming the way that we shop with two new high-tech stores in New York City and San Francisco, where you can shop on an interactive video display. You see it there. Order clothes directly to your dressing room. And once inside, you can even choose the lighting to really set the mood. So how does it all work? Rebecca and Uri Minkoff invited me to their new Soho store to give it a test run. And here's Real Biz behind your favorite brands, Rebecca Minkoff. Ugliest fashion trend of all time. I think when the platforms are too high and a girl looks like she's gonna break her ankle, I just say no. Too much fabric. Just too much loose, overflowing fabric. Number one thing to have in your closet right now. A West Moto and a Rebecca Minkoff handbag. A great blazer, a great navy blazer. Worst piece of advice you ever got when you were starting this company. I had saved about $10,000 from the time of zero to when I moved here. And someone said, you gotta have a beautiful photo shoot with the best models and the best photographer. And I blew that 10 grand on one photo shoot with the best photographer and the best model. And it would have been fine if I would have done a DIY style in the beginning, not ever being able to recapture those funds, I think. To be scared, we launched during the time of the recession, and that we should be scared and that we should be fearful. And instead, we just got really bold and really aggressive with all of our marketing. What time do you wake up? 7.30. 7.16. <laughs> just a few minutes before your sister. Which one of you is the older sibling? Yeah. He's the older. Of course, that's why you wake up a little bit earlier. Do you set an alarm? Yes. Yes. What do you listen to on your alarm? Sounds like a bomb is going off. Can you show me the number one selling bag right now in the store in the number one color? Yeah, I would say this is uh, next door number one. The rose gold, we have it in black with black hardware, and then obviously signature black and gold. And that one's called what? This is the morning after mini clutch. And that's where it started. It started with the morning after bag. Uh, then I made a clutch called the morning after clutch or the mask and then we did a mini max size. How did you come up with that name, by the way? I thought it would be romantic to, you know, stay out all night, and, you know, who knows what happens. You but know. now we have dance bags, okay? <laughs> exactly. They're called knocked out. <laughs> If you could dress any celebrity, who would you dress? We have a great celebrity group of girls, so it's hard to say who, but I love Kate Moss's style. I think she has incredible style. I've been blessed with so many of celebrities, you know, Taylor Swift, Vanessa Hudgens, Reese Witherspoon, Giselle, they all wear the bags and the clothes. How does that work? You send them shipments of your clothes and times, hope to see them show up on Instagram? Sometimes you do, but other times they come in and they buy, and that's the best way. That's how you know, you know, they really are searching for it. And how about you? Love your style. What do you wear? I wear Rebecca Minkoff. How do you do that? People have such a high expectation of designers. There's a lot of pressure to, to always be wearing the right outfit. There is, but um, someone actually told me, they said, you wear a lot of black, Rebecca Minkoff, but because you surround yourself with color. And I was like, you know, I never thought of it that way, but I do tend to wear a lot of black, but I'm immersed in so much color all the time that I think it's a good way for me to sort of remain neutral. When other people are getting dressed in the morning, what's your number one tip for getting style? I think you should always put on one thing that makes you slightly uncomfortable. Not Ooh. physically uncomfortable, but takes you out of your comfort zone. What do you want this company to be 10 years from now? I would love to see Rebecca Minkoff and Ben Minkoff stores globally and have a huge customer base in our stores, be a very full lifestyle brand that we touch every area of a woman and man's life, whether it be from the accessories for her phone to her bag to her furniture and her children's clothing. Not a bad assignment. Well, thank you for joining us for Real Biz. We want to hear from you. What do you think of Rebecca Minkoff's new high-tech store concept? Would you like to shop in a space like that? Like us, tweet us at Rebecca Jarvis and comment below. And from the studios in New York City, I'm Rebecca Jarvis. Have a great day.